All right, guys, how you doing? Um, finally arrived in Norway after my uh, little odyssey through Lithuania, and uh, yeah, it's cool. It's uh, half past nine in the evening. I've still got my sunglasses on. I'm here with Carl and with Kim. We're drinking Lithuanian beers, which I brought over from Lithuania. If you are being a bit funny, you can pretend it's non-alcohol. Apparently in Norway, Uten means non-alcoholic, and these beers are alcoholic, but we're walking around pretending they're non-alcoholic, so we don't get in trouble with the Norwegian authorities. So we had a beer uh, selection today. We had earlier Carlsberg, and then we realized Uten Nors is a lot better beer. So well done, Kaunas and Lithuania. Well done with your... It's Look, it's like a electric something beer. Look, have you seen? They've got this. Uh, on it's the an side. electric beer. Yeah, it's I didn't uh, realize. environmentally friendly or electric or something. I, 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 I don't know. I have no <laughs> idea. God, I'm not an expert in Lithuanian beer. I just drink it. But how do you like our city so far? It's all right. No, it's bloody amazing. I love it here. It's so beautiful. Look, you got all these beautiful buildings along the wharf. You've got the mountains. You've got the hills surrounding the city. No. Really nice place. Nice ladies as well, from what I've seen so far. We are in the middle of the tourist trap of Bergen, so the nicest way to have a beer that doesn't cost you 10 euros will be to bring a beer from Lithuania, of course, but otherwise a beer from the supermarket. This is a Sunday though, so it's impossible to buy a beer anywhere if you're not going to a bar and pay 10 euros or a little bit less, maybe 8 euros if you're lucky or 80 kroners, as we say in Norway. All right, from Bergen, hello. Right, we're in Bergen, and uh, it's the 15th of May. Tomorrow is the 16th of May. We've got a big game tomorrow. Uh, Slim, tell us all about the game tomorrow. Why, why should we go to the game tomorrow in uh, Brand Stadium? Uh, because it's perfect. It's um, football, feeling. Yeah, it's, it's life, yeah. It's like it, wherever you're from. So I heard that 16th of May, it's like a Bergen thing. Uh, no, it's uh, special. special. It's especially special. special in Bergen. Okay. Very difficult to say what is special everywhere else when you are from here. It's perfect if you're here and you're just like 20 minutes, you have to go. So it's, um, it's what we call perfection. It's what we call perfection, even though Brann is now in the second division of Norway, not the first division. I, for me, as a lower league fan, it's an even bigger reason to go because I'm a fan of lower league football. Better to be best in the second than to be shit in the first. Better to win league two than to be relegated from league one, I would say. I would say. And by the way, Park Fleetwood Town and Morecambe, those two clubs think of them. If you ask me, trust me. Just my personal opinion. Really. Uh, it, it sounds like Carl knows quite a lot about uh, Gillingham's recent history. Yeah. Gillingham? <laughs> Is that your club? Yeah, you didn't know that G Gillingham was my club. No, I didn't. And now we have something to talk about. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. uh, right, so what do you want? Yeah. want? Yeah. Alright there guys, we are vlogging as Kim would call it. We're on our way to the game, we're off to see Bran against uh, hey! some... <laughs> As you can see, we're off to see Brown against uh, some other team who I never heard of in the second league of Norway. Also.
win for Bran. A lot of happy Bergen people. Not sure if you can see up there, there's the Norwegian Football Federation flag and it's upside down for some reason. Welcome to Bergen. Hey, this football pitch here in Bergen is quite famous. Kim, why is this football pitch here famous? It is famous because it used to have a pitch without a proper corner flag here. Now they fixed it, but before this uh, line here, the Chorwin line, was out here and the corner flag came here, so you didn't have any corner flag at all. So I remember. So, I was so the, pit, the, the pitch was out here? No, no, the, the, the line was further out and it went further, so they rebuilt it and they fixed it now, but it was pretty famous for a while because the pitch didn't have a corner here. We just came from the bar, it's called the Corner Theatre, probably why. So every corner had to be played from that side? They used to play yeah. here without the corner flag, but now I'm glad they should have it. some. So uh, now they shifted the pitch over. There's a, there's a photo, you can film it with your camera, how it used to look like. And it used to be famous all over Europe because it was so stupid. It was the community. So here it is. So this is from before. Yeah. They didn't allow. <laughs> okay, there you <laughs> go. So that, that was this exact fence right here. Look. Why didn't they just make the pitch smaller? Was it already the minimum probably. dimension? This is probably right. what they did when they uh, changed the... Uh, because this is not proper grass. As you can see, this is artificial grass. So this is not grass. This is plastic. Are you going to prove it to us by trying to eat it? Yeah, next time. Okay guys, so you know that in Brussels I live in the neighborhood known as the Merol, or in Dutch Marolen. Well, we found here the Molauren Cafe, so if you rearrange the letters, Marolen, you get Marolen, my neighborhood in Brussels, awesome. Right, so we've been over on this boat partying. We've had a nice breakfast on the boat, and now Kim and I, we're about to hit town. 17th of May. It's about time now. How are you feeling? What time man? is it? Two? I don't know. What am I? A clock? Yeah, you it's know, about two. Yeah. Norway, there's no exception. We had a, a classical uh, Norwegian um, 17th of May breakfast. We get up at nine and start drinking and eating and feasting on the festivals. <laughs> this whole line down here. Awesome. We don't walk lines. We don't do lines. We got traditional Norwegian girls doing their dances. Hey, hey, hey. down to the city from this uh, viewpoint over here uh, and you have to practice a lot before you know mm -hmm. which way you're going I memorized quite a lot of them probably all of them okay. it then took then years okay. of training then how and we're going to fly in we wanted to show you <coughs> the first viewpoint and we go up to Skansen what is Fluyen? Fluyen yeah. The top we're going to. It's the mountain we're going mountain. to. Now. So there's a tram up, we're going to take the tram. What a view of the city, look at this. I learned you the song now, right? Oh, God. <laughs> it's beautiful. Beautiful city.
left uh, it's a good uh, choice. Bergen, it's so beautiful when the sun shines between these old wooden houses. It's amazing. We will choose the stairs here, right? This is why you should always travel with the locals. <laughs> Show you the best spots in town. Look, it's a tribute to David Bowie. And here it is, my former house. It's here, you can see number 16 on the corner of here. Right, next, right down under the stairs there. We'll go down and check it out. Not anymore. No. <laughs> It's cozy area I live in, huh? Here? Oh, it's beautiful. It was very popular, popular on Airbnb when we rented it out in the summer. I'm sure. So we had that lovely little hike to come to this bar and it's closed, so we'll have to go somewhere else. Oh well. Welcome to Bryggen, Bryggen in Bergen. This is it. It's from the Hansartic times. And the Germans were running everything. They worked here. Wow, look at this. It's not changed since, well, how long? This must have been around 1300 or something. No, 1300. Check it out, maybe I'm wrong. Normally there will be a bar here, so you can sit and enjoy this beautiful view. Yeah. And, uh, but it's the day after the national day, so everybody seems to be sleeping and not opening the bars. Yeah, some people are. Oh, look, okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's a private event. Maybe it's a bar in there. It's going to be pretty much expensive there, yeah. so we go somewhere. Kim knows all the, all the best value places to go. We don't use the word cheap on this channel, we use best value or good value. There are pictures of both. You can see the old wooden buildings. And then once you've come through this little alleyway, you're back at the harbour side. Harbour side. Beautiful. And then you do what I love to do. Have a beer. You go to the quayside and look at the boats. Go to have a look at the boats. Yeah, you never go on this side. You always yeah. go close to the boats. Always, always the other side close to the boats, people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, have you ever been to a train station where every single train is cancelled? Look at this. Voss, Arna, Voss, Arna, Middle, Oslo South, all cancelled. Right guys, so a quick tip for you if you ever find yourself coming to Bergen. If you're coming for seven days or less and you are planning to use a bit of public transport in the Zone 1 area, five times or more, Buy a seven day ticket. You can't buy it on the machines, you have to buy it on the app, the Skiss app, S-K-Y-S-S. -S. Download the app and you can buy this ticket for seven days and it costs less than just five journeys, single. 